comes with the mascot. They, they don't really want to go on the pitch, but they don't have much choice. There you go. <laughs> All sorts of talk about David Beckham's sexual activities. We have evidence that before a recent game, he got a bit flirty with Roberto Carlos and then went a stage further with Louis Figo. Beckham has had a cyst removed from his bat recently. Meanwhile, another football personality has had the word cyst removed from his front. <laughs> and uh, there was a bit of a mix-up after the Holland-Germany game, actually, when the Japanese bloke they'd asked to present the Man of the Match award to Michael Ballack thought he'd won it himself. <laughs> Meanwhile, Italian fans will have been worried to see that at the Denmark game, their president, Silvio Berlusconi, was sitting with Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> dispute in this tournament about whether tackles have happened in or outside the penalty area. And frankly, this kind of behaviour hasn't helped. <laughs> Many commentators reacting to Thierry Henry's play, but I shouldn't think you'll ever hear anyone quite like this. On laisse jouer. Dit Monsieur l'arbitre qui avait l'avantage. Henri, Henri, Henri. <laughs> Zinedine Zidane must have been really excited to get those two late goals against England, but not as excited as he was to get the Man of the Match award. The Carlsberg Man of the Match presented to Zinedine Zidane. By Jason <laughs> when you're queuing for tickets for a big game, you don't want to leave the queue even to go to the toilet. <laughs> we'll miss Thomas Gravison. He's a really hard player, but very sporting. Our favourite moment this week was provided by the loudspeaker system at Old Trafford. Attention, attention. The refreshment kiosk would like to announce that they are currently giving away free pies. Remember, we gave an award uh, during the World Cup show to Ahmed Madani of Saudi Arabia for the lowest header of all time. I think we need to have another look at it now. Here it I comes. See it. Who doesn't really understand the concept of a cross exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but there was much rejoicing in Leeds earlier this season when Gary Kelly took almost four inches off that record. Shearer <laughs> <laughs> was very disappointed on Boxing Day when the linesman beat him in the most camp expression of the game competition. <laughs> Congratulations to this Blackburn fan for wearing the most old person's item of clothing it's possible to wear. <laughs> uh, nothing like a flat cap and including balaclava arrangement, is there? And following some terrible refereeing decisions at the weekend, some fans have warned that from now on they'll be keeping a very close eye on officials. A few things we noticed from watching football this week. Now, they say that Trevor Francis has a very close relationship with his players, but it was a bit embarrassing at Hillsborough on Monday night when Mrs. Francis turned up unexpectedly. <laughs> from Brazilian football, featuring Serginho, the coach of Santos, having a slight difference of opinion with the director of an opposing team. Now, here's Serginho in, in the white hat. There's a the director. We're all very pleased to see Eric Cantona getting the PFA Player of the Year award. This will go nicely with a whole host of awards he won while playing in France. There was the Most Accurate Throw Award, <laughs> which he won in conjunction with the Leaving the Pitch in the Biggest Hoff trophy. <laughs> and then he won the prize for the highest tackle of the season. Following further criticism that teams are always changing their colours, it now seems that referees are trying to cash in as well. <laughs>